We are going to have Sunday school this morning, so I want you to get your Bibles, and I want you to come back and meet me here, okay? And we're going to learn about how to build bridges through the Word of God, okay? See you in a minute. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's pray. Father, we come before you and we just thank you for this day. Father, we thank you that your word is alive, Father God. And when we draw near to you, you will draw near to us. So I ask you to touch every individual, Lord God, that's listening to the Sunday school this morning. And I ask you to bless them, Father, and show yourself to them. Father, as we get into this word, we give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, you ready? Um, We are going to be coming out of Romans chapter 15 verse 7 okay it's reference scripture so we're going to read that verse first and then we are going to go into the Sunday school lesson okay are you ready okay in Romans chapter 15 verses 7 it says therefore receive one another just as Christ received us to the glory of God and what that's basically saying is that God desires for us to receive individuals just the way he received us that means when we see someone in need or we see someone that's that needs assistance or we see a neighbor or a friend or someone that's you know just need help or need a prayer or a hug or you know something that would encourage them and bring hope to them god says that we are the one that should take the step to help them and encourage them and assist them and in that way, it shows Jesus Christ working through us because Jesus basically told us that we ought to serve one another. And when we come into a situation with individuals that don't know Christ, that's a perfect opportunity to reveal Jesus Christ through our service to them. OK, so we have to remember that Romans chapter 15, verse 7, he desires for us to build bridges and building bridges is re revealing the glory of God through our service to others. Those that is in the body and also those that is not in the body. Our friends, our neighbors, our schoolmates, our co-workers, wherever, we are, wherever Christ put across our path. And we have opportunity or we are given an opportunity to share Christ. That is a perfect time to build bridges. Okay? So our lesson today is called Building Bridges, and it starts out like this. It says, Frank and his friend Mark looked at the creek that ran behind the field near their homes. They were trying to figure out how to build a bridge over it. I bet my dad has a board we could use, said Mark. The two boys ran to the shed in Mark's backyard and found a wide board. They carried it to the creek, lifted it up, and gave it a heave hoping it would land with both ends on dry land. Splash, one ended, one end missed. I don't think this board will work, said Frank. Look how it sags in the middle. He looked at his watch and said, Mom expects me home soon. Let's work on this sometime tomorrow. I'll ask my parents for suggestions too and bring on building bridges. The boys set the boards against the outside of the shed to dry and Frank headed home. Mother greeted Frank at the door. I'm glad you're home a little early, she said. We're having the the hibbits for dinner tonight. Oh, not them, groaned Frank. He didn't like these new neighbors. They didn't speak English very well, and the boy his age didn't act like the other boys. Frank still couldn't pronounce his name. Maybe I can eat at Mark's, Frank said. We're building bridges, said his mother. And you are eating here, Mother said firmly. Disappointed with her son's attitude, it would be good for you to learn more about different cultures. I don't think the hippies believe in God, said Frank. He thought for sure he had one up on Mom for this comment. Perhaps not, said Mother. But they have a better chance of getting to know him if we share his love with them tonight. They're so weird, Mom, Frank complained. They aren't weird, said Mother. They just seem different to us, just like we're different to them. He looked at Frank. Then she looked at Frank thoughtfully. I thought you were interested in building bridges, she said. I am, said Frank. It's a real challenge. 
then let's be one here tonight by using whatever means we can to reach out to other people. Suggest the mother. Now go wash up for dinner. Okay? This is a perfect opportunity to build a bridge with new neighbors. A excellent example. What do you see when you see people different from you? What? How do you think about those people? How do you respond to this? Like a new kid coming into your class or someone of another race that moves in your neighborhood. How do you feel? How... How, what's your response to those people? It says, do you stay away from them or do you build a bridge and go over and, and you know, introduce yourself? Say, hi, you know, welcome to the neighborhood. There's a way to build bridges and perfect opportunity to share Christ. It says here, build a bridge with Jesus' love. He loves all the people of the world. That means everyone of every race. And it might sound a little uncomfortable, a little different in the beginning when you first meet someone that doesn't speak the same language that you do. But that's a perfect opportunity, again, to build bridges. And as you become friends, and then you hang out with each other, and you, you know, spend some time with each other, and, and check out their needs, if they need anything, that's an opportunity to build bridges. Okay? It's because God wants to show that love through us. He wants to use us to show love and build bridges. And as we build bridges with our new neighbors or our friends, our co-workers, God can use that as an open door to share Jesus Christ with them as well if they don't know Christ. So there's always, always opportunities. It's just us having to be the one to take the first step to build a bridge. And that means go out. Get out of your comfort zone, introduce yourself, and go out and talk to your new neighbors, your new friends, your new co-workers, because you never know, okay? Because that's what God wants. He tells us, again, in our scripture, Romans chapter 15, verse 7, Therefore receive one another, just as Christ received us, to the glory of God. That, gives, that brings glory and honor to God when we do that. So let's try to work on that next time. You meet someone new or someone moving to your neighborhood or into your class. School year ready to start soon in the summer. After summer's over, perfect opportunity to build bridges. Okay? Amen? And the PowerPoint is reach out with Jesus' love. Love never fails. Reach out with Jesus' love. And let God do the rest. Amen? Okay, guys. I'll talk to you later.